Hello and nice to meet you. Imagine you could build something like this in minutes instead of hours. With Framer, no problem. I'm going to show you how to do it. I prepared something for our video and so it will be not that long. And yeah, what we do right now, we have here the content of the front page and we add a frame. Now we change the size of this we go to 566 and 823 and we can change the radius to 40 and also what we need to do is to change the background so we can see the content inside this you see here we can add the stack we set this to fit content and also we increase the distance. Now I can change the position of this stack, set it to left align, and this is almost the final result. Now we change the position of this button, and we are finished with the first one. The second one is the same, you just add a frame to it, change the size, and this should be here in the left corner, and this should be here, and I change here the radius to 40. So now both of them we can put into one frame and we are calling this frame card and here we need the sizes 566 823 now you see the back side is on the front but we can easily change this because here is the back and here's the front and this should be the back mm. what i do right now i choose z index i say it should be minus and i add to the card a radius and it's not necessary to add the radius so now we have the front card and the back card and now we can go and create a component out of it i call this card flip i add another variant and what i can do right now is that i see here here's the frame here's everything inside but not the back side so small mistake from me let's go back ah okay yeah i know what's the problem detach instance and we do it again we choose here the card we go to create component i call it card flipper now i can add another variant it should work now and we go to back and card flip this should be front normally i add another frame call it card so what we can do right now is change the card like i choose here the card and i add the transform to rotate then i go to 3d and just rotate it and to make the back side visible i change the set, set index to one and now you see inside this, this is the wrong direction. We choose the stack and we can here add a Y transition or a Y transform. And now it's 180. We also can change the position of the cross. And the last step we need to continue uh, we need to connect this and in the other direction 
And now we can make this animation more smooth through a transition. I choose a ease transition. I want to have it a bit higher. And the cool thing here is also you can see how this animation looks like later. There's a preview. This is good, a bit higher. And now I choose here absolute. I look at the preview. What happens if I, you see, it's a card, it's a bit flippy. It's not 100% like the Apple card, but the principle should be clear for you. Yeah, hopefully I could help you with my video. Hopefully I could help you with my knowledge. And if it is like this, it would be really nice if you like this video. And if you want to see more content like this, then subscribe to my channel. And yeah, hopefully we see each other in the next video and have a nice day. See you.